Hey guys, this is What Up Here. Time to do my very first commentary on NASCAR Thunder 2003. Now, before I do start, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing uh, the Bud Shootout. Unfortunately, it's not in season mode unless you do like you know like a full season and like the next season, like 2003, will have the Bud Shootout. But for whatever reason, on the first season, you don't get it. So I'm just showing you the the race length. I put it at 25% for the Bud Shootout because it's only. Uh, 17 laps, and I'm also going to do it on the quick race mode, so you know we get that in there. AI difficulty will be on Legend. And uh, save this to game data. Um, as for the driver I am picking, it is actually going to be Dale Jr. because that was the car that most people voted for me to be. So I'm gonna do that, and I can't. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that it's Junior. Maybe people watch some of my videos, and I mention that Junior is my favorite driver. Maybe. Maybe my subscribers, you know, actually pay attention to my videos and be and are like, you know what? Hey, let's you know let them be let them be Dale Junior. So it's gonna be 17 laps, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be quite interesting to see how it kind of goes. Um, I did one test race and it was piss easy, but as you saw, I was on rookie by <laughs> by complete accident. So I don't know how the race will be on Legend. Hit it around like lap eight and it was okay, but um, basically, um, as you see, the shootout field consists of all pole winners from the previous NASCAR season. Each driver must must make a two-tire pit stop on a green flag during the race. And it's kind of weird because for whatever reason, it says it only kept track of the people from the poll from the previous season, yet all 43 drivers are in here, which that's not possible. No, no, so there's no such thing as the driver getting a poll 43 different times. So that doesn't make any sense. But as you've seen, green flag's underway and I'm finally doing this damn thing. And it's kind of weird going back on this game because I remember when I was little, I used to play this game all the time on my old PS2. Like my PS2 was like the big brick one. I got that in like 2001, and I played that till about 2006. Then I got a new one in 2007, and I have it till now. And I remember playing this game all the time. It was it was quite fun in, back in the day, and it's still fun playing it now. I still love playing this game. The driving model is so different, and, and difficulty wise, it's much more challenge or challenging if that, that's not even a word but it's much more difficult I guess you can say oh Kirk Bush really slowed down there I was weird I was gonna one big thing about this game that I, I will say even though I like this game a lot that really freaking sucks is that the there is a massive dead zone on the gas. Like, if you let off the gas, you know, the X button for, like, a couple, you know, for a little bit, it takes, like, two or so seconds for it to register you let go of that X button, and that is such a problem. Like, I, I really hate that. NASCAR Thunder 2004 is a little bit better with it. It's not as big of a delay, but it is a, a really big problem. And also the steering, for whatever reason, if you pause going in the corner and you unpause the steering locks up for a second which is really really bad oh i think walter like got really loose or something it's kind of like bobbled up on the high line there that was really weird and he's dropping back i'm in sixth place right now gaining a decent amount of spots i'm going to pit around like lap seven or eight i did that in my practice run and oh burden <laughs> Burden like stopped Slow down or checked up. I don't know what and that's gonna kill my momentum big time and I want to go oh, I want to go on the outside line to close the door and I couldn't do it All right. Who the hell's even leading? Oh Labani oh, That's cute In Fifth place not too bad. I I'm contending for a possible win 
I think this might have been the last race the Bud Shootout was ran under the daytime, I believe. I think in 2003 they started running it at night. Which, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, but I like the Bud Shootout at night for whatever reason. I don't know why, but I always kind of, I just think it's better in the nighttime than in the daytime. I'd rather have the five with the uh, blah, 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 blah. I'd rather have the Daytona 500 ran in daytime, daytime and night, because that just makes the night race a little more special. But then why why would you want the bunch shootout to be at night if the night one and the, the Daytona one's more special? I I don't know. You got me there. <laughs> what the hell is this? Shauna Robinson in sixth? What is this? It's funny because like. I don't remember her doing absolutely anything in NASCAR except for wrecking Junior at Texas or something stupid and Junior was like, she don't know where she's going, she's a wrecking ball. <laughs> or something like that, I don't remember. Did you see the wall up there? It's like glitching out. It's like, it's not really appearing as it should, like it's kind of like lagging. Alright, going for a second. Get by Ward and then I gotta get by Labani. I don't know when I should pit. Slap seven or eight, I don't know. Probably pat on lap seven. No, lap eight, lap eight. I'll pat on lap eight. Lap eight going into lap nine, I guess. Hopefully that's a good strategy. Ugh, can't get the by Labani. Alright, get the draft there and just kind of peek down low and see if I can get any sort of run. I just can't, like, he just keeps getting that run on the outside and I can't get by him. Alright, let's just kind of build up the momentum going into one here. Because it's like, I'll, I'll, I'll show you, like, you can get, like, a little bit far away from the person and then you can run up to them, but then it'll be like a pocket of air and it'll just stop your car completely. It's really shitty. I think that's how the aero package was back then, but it just kind of stopped. It sucks because it's like you're you're like flying up to the guy's back bumper like 193 miles an hour, and then all of a sudden you'll just slow down to like 187, and it's not. It's just really shitty. You just lose ground for. It just it just stops your momentum. I think it's just how the aero package was back then. And close the door on Labani. Finally get the race lead. It took me forever to pull that off. And I'm going to be pitting next lap, so you know what was the point of trying? Now, I'm ironically, you know, fighting Ward Burnoff for the lead. It's ironic because he won the 500 in 2002, and he goes up the high lane for whatever reason and slows down. I don't know why he did that, but he did. Gotta hold off Labani here and just kind of be a douche and block him. I'm paying this time anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, at least the difficulty here is pretty tough. I mean, it, did, it was kind of hard to get the lead, and throughout this entire season that I did previously, you know, all by myself offline was pretty, pretty competitive, and I just gotta get under 70 miles an hour to pit. Alright, 69 miles an hour. Put on the right side tires, fuel tank, wedge, nothing, tire pressures, and done. Okay, you got it. What makes pit stops really interesting on this game is that you know they're actual human beings and they make mistakes. I know that's something that you tend to hasn't thought of, but when they do pit, they do make mistakes, which I don't know if it'll happen in this race, but at some point during the season they'll make at least one mistake or something minuscule. And I mean, it's it's just kind of cool, you know. I mean, it sucks. It's bullshit. I don't want it to happen, but it makes it realistic. It makes them, you know, fucking human beings. Something you Tenex doesn't understand because every single pit stop, the robots and make no mistakes. It's funny because when I used to do league races and stuff, um, every single pit stop, like they they never made a, made a mistake and really never gained or gained positions up here. The only time we would gain or lose pits, like, you know, spots on pit road would be, like, the cars getting out, because sometimes they'll just, like, get out of pit road and then just, like, randomly stop, and other cars would be, like, jiggling sideways and shit. Like, <laughs> it made no sense. And also, it's, it's quite, it's quite humorous, because on the Facebook group, 
Revan mentioned that I quit doing NASCAR leagues, and it's true, I did, I did stop doing them. I just explained that I stopped doing them because, you know, I wasn't really competitive anymore, and I was sucking, and they just weren't fun, and he said, he, you know, he called me out and said it was bull, you know, that's bullshit, and then he got, he got better, and so can I, and, I don't know, it's just, I don't, like, I tried for so damn long, you know, to be good and stuff, and it's, it's like, I'm not gonna keep doing the races just to please you, you know, I, I stopped doing them, I want, you know, to quit to, you know, benefit myself, I'm not gonna continue keep, you know, to keep racing and finishing, like, 12th or 11th just to please you, I'm not, like, I'm deeply sorry that, you know, that I... I'm not doing what you want. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just, you know, I kept saying for the longest time I was gonna quit. I was pulling like a little Red Riding Hood and stuff. I just kept saying I was gonna quit. I'm gonna quit, and then I didn't. Now I actually did, and I don't know. It finally happened. I guess that's that's the why I made the music video. Well, farewell to league races because it was foreshadowing of me leaving NASCAR leagues and stuff, and it, it did happen like a couple months later. So I mean, I called it. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. I just didn't know when. And I just got tired because like it just wasn't fun. Like I was tired of being pissed off every single week. I mean, it just wasn't fun. Like like I said, I'm not gonna keep doing league races to you know to benefit Revan or to please him. I'm just I'm just stopped doing it you know to benefit myself and do what I felt was best. And apparently that's wrong. That that's wrong to do. So I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, with the montage of running I've been doing for the past three laps, I'm now in the top ten, ninth, eighth. Ooh, I can go for the lead right here. No, I can't. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who the hell is leading? Did they even pit? Wait a minute. They I, they better have pitted or something, cause like. They must have pit or something, or they they got a pit or, or something, cause that there's no way they could be that far ahead. If they did pit, oh wait, no, they're getting out of pit road right now. What the fuck? Wait a minute, are they? Yeah, I can see the little dots. They are. They did just get out of pit road. How the hell did they get so far ahead? They got two tires like everybody else did. All right, well, Labani, you're gonna have to go buy me so we can try to get to the leader, do something. So we're going to try to do a, a two-car tango, even though it's not a two-car tango. Come on, Labani, get by me. There you go. And we're just going to have to kind of, like, not two-car tango, or two, you know, tandem or whatever. <laughs> just did a terrible job of holding my line there. I'll just have to stay on this bumper and just kind of see if we can get to the front. That is bizarre. I didn't really expect Stuart or Bush to really get that far ahead, which is very bizarre. I didn't really expect that. All right, just I'm kind of curious what the interval will be getting up to turn four and see what it'll it'll be like. Cause if it's pretty good, you know, or, I don't know. We'll see how it is for right here. 1.693 So we'll see how it is the next lap. Hopefully it closes a little bit. It seems like they're not really trying to draft or you know, hold the, you know, keep those top two positions. They're kind of like I'm not sure if they're swapping positions or I don't know, but they're just not they're not really in the draft. That's what I know for sure. So hopefully I don't know. I think we're gaining. I, 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 we're blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Can't talk. They're definitely gaining. We're definitely gaining now. I can see their dots a little bit better now. We stay if we stay like this for another lap or so, I think we'll be right up with them maybe. Last lap it was 1.6, this lap is 1.2, so we're gaining about four tenths a lap. So do the math. By the time it's the white flag, we'll be about eight tenths behind them. So that's about one tenth away from getting the draft. So it'll be really close. It'll be really close. I think it'll be close. Somewhat close. Who the hell won that Bud Shootout in 2002? 
Yeah, I think it was Tony Stewart who wanted to know too. Which is, again, ironic because he won the 2001 Bud Shootout and Earnhardt finished, finished second. Now, in this one, he's leading just like how he did in, like, you know, real life NASCAR. That's pretty. That, that's just so cute. That's so kawaii. That's so me. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yep, last lap was 1.2, and this one's 8 tenths. So, if we gain another 4 tenths getting to the white flag, it'll basically be just kind of a shootout. If I can, it'll definitely be a last lap pass, I know that for sure, to win this. I just don't know how close it'll be. It's going to be close, because I think we're in their draft right now. The buying, I'm pretty sure, is in Tony Stewart's draft. Ooh, we got Gibbs teammates. One during a first and third. Alright. Alright, we're definitely with them now. I can, you know, try making a move here. I'm only gonna get Kurt Bush's draft here and see what we can do. Ah oh, shit. I'm gonna be Oh Lobani used me as a pit. Oh wait, never mind. Oh Kurt Bush came down and blocked me. Oh shit, that was <laughs> that was close. Alright. Alright, go down low. Actually, this is almost like the 2000, 2001 Talladega race where Junior was first and Sturt was second or something. I don't know, but I'm trying to get by him and I, I can't get by him. I don't have enough for a run. Shit. Alright, if I can get down low here. Alright, this is good. This is good. We're side by side. Now, oh, come on. No, no, Labani. No, ah, oh. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Mm. I just, I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough a run going into three to, to do anything. Stewart wins the shootout. Did exactly what he did in 2002, and I get third. Son of a bitch. I don't know what I could have done different there. Probably should have. I don't know what I could have done. It was a really awkward position. Like I could have backed off and waited, but then I wouldn't really have enough run to pass him at the line. If I had a really big run going into three, like the draft for like a good long while, then I could have been. I could have made the pass off before, or you know, complete the pass off before. But mm, I don't know, there was really nothing I could have done. It seemed like it was like a really awkward corner or an awkward position to pass him. But hey, it's just a shootout, it's not a points race, but I really would like to, you know, win. So, this race doesn't really mean anything, it's just, you know, there's no points involved, but it's just, you know, just, you know, why not? Um, thank you for watching, I'll see y'all later, and probably next video you probably see is the Gatorade Duels, and then the Daytona 500, right after that, I'll probably blow those two back-to-back, -back, but, um, thanks for watching, I'll see y'all later, and uh, have a nice day.